Hi, welcome back. I am Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to discuss about NP completeness of click graph. But before we start, a small information I'd like to give. In this channel, we produce the same video in two different languages, Hindi as well as in English. You can identify it from its thumbnail. Right now, you are watching this video in English. If you want to watch it in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get all the updates on this channel. So, let us start NP completeness of click graph. In a very simple statement, if I want to define a click, it is nothing but a complete subgraph of a given graph. In this graph, you can see vertex 1, 3 and 6 makes a complete subgraph of this given graph. So it is a click of size 3. Similarly, I'll be having one more click of size 3 with vertices 1, 2 and 6. I'll be having a click of size 2 between any two vertices because any two vertices with one edge between them is a complete graph by itself. So vertex 1 and 2 can be a complete graph. So it is a click of size 2. In this graph, I can say vertex 1, 2, 3 and 4 is a complete subgraph. So that's why it is a click of size 4. Similarly, in the same graph, vertex 3, 4 and 5 is a complete subgraph with three vertices. Then I can say it is a click of size 3. A click problem can be either a decision problem or can be an optimization problem. When the problem will be answered in the form of true or false, I'll say it is a decision problem. For example, given a graph, if the question is, is there any click of size 2 or is there any click of size 3? If the question is answered in the form of true or false, then this is a decision problem. And the optimization problem is a problem where the question is answered in the form of maximum or minimum. Like, what is the maximum or minimum click size of the particular graph? So this is an optimization problem. Before going to discuss in detail about the click problem, let us try to understand reduction because unless you understand reduction, you will not be able to understand the total process. So if a problem B is given and we are and we want to show that problem B is either NP complete or NP hard or whatever, then we have to take a problem A, which is a known problem, and we can transform or we can reduce this problem A to problem B. And the reduction should take polynomial time. So what it says is, let A and B be two problems, then problem A reduces to problem B, if and only if there is a way to solve problem A, by deterministic algorithm that solve B in polynomial time. If problem A is reducible to problem B, then we denote it with this notation. There are few properties for reduction. If problem A is reducible to problem B and problem B is a polynomially solvable problem or it is a P problem, then problem A is also in P. The second is, if A is not in P, implies B is not in P. Now let us understand a reduction in NP complete. So if A and B are two problems given or two languages given, and if A is reducible to B in a polynomial time, then B is in NP hard. And if B is NP, then B is NP complete. So let us try to understand what are the steps that is required to prove any problem as NP complete. The first step is prove that B is an NP. The second step is select the NP complete problem. We'll say it as problem A or language A. The third step is construct a function F that maps the member of A to the members of B. Fourth step is show that X is an A if and only if F of X is in B because we are having a mapping function. And the last step is so that f can be computed in polynomial time. 
any problem can be shown and be complete by these five steps. Now you understood what is a click problem and we understood the steps that is required to show a click problem as NP complete. So what we have to do, we have to show that click is an NP and we have to show that click is NP hard. Let us show it one by one. Let us first show that click is in NP problem. So what is the NP problem? Let's see first. A problem which cannot be solved in polynomial time but can be verified in polynomial time is known as non-deterministic polynomial or NP class problem. We can verify that if a graph is given which is represented by G as a set of vertices with a set of edges and K is any number, number of elements in the set S is greater than or equal to K, then check whether UV belongs to E for every UV belongs to S. Thus the verification can be done in BCO of n square time. Now so that the click problem is NP hard. So we need to show a click that is at least as hard as any other NP problem. So we'll take a 3 sat problem and we will be reducing the 3 sat problem to a click problem. Now it means given an instance i of a 3 set, we will produce a graph g equal to ve and an integer k such that g has a click size of at least k if and only if i is satisfied. It means we have to take an instance i in the 3 set and find a graph, find its click and it should be same as k. Similarly, in the reverse way also, if we'll take a graph with click k, then it should satisfy the 3 set problem. So let us understand what is a 3 set or 3 satisfiability or 3 CNF problem. Basically, a 3 CNF means a conjunctive normal form with 3 variables. A formula which is represented in the form of product of elementary sums, I'll say it is a conjunctive normal form. In 3 set problem, each and every clause having 3 literals and each clause is known as a max term where every variable will be present either in their negated form or in non-negated form. For example, this is in CNF. So here, negation of Q, P, or negation R, the variable that we are using, we'll say it is as literals, and whatever is there within the bracket, the total term, we'll say it is a clause. Let us try to understand what is the rule that we need to follow to convert a 3 CNF to a graph. So we'll draw an edge between literals of other clauses, avoiding these two conditions. We'll not draw any edge between literals of the same clause and we'll not draw any edge between, we'll not draw any edge between literal and its negation which is there in other clause. So these two conditions we need to follow. You'll understand it when we are going to do an example. Here in this problem, three clauses are given and each clause contains three literals. Try to represent it in the form of an points of a graph. So the first clause, I'll represent it in this particular area. The second clause presented here and the third clause presented here. Now I'd like to draw the edges. So try to draw edge between P and P or negation of Q or R. So I can very well draw from P to P, P to negation of Q, P to R. Similarly, from Q, I can draw an edge to P and from Q I can draw an edge to R. I cannot draw an edge Q and negation of Q because it is a violation of second rule. Now R to P, R to negation of Q and R to R is drawn. Then now let us try to draw from vertex P of the first literal of the second clause to the third clause. So P to P, P to negation of Q and P to negation of R. Then negation of Q to P, negation of Q to negation of Q and negation of Q to negation of R. And R to P and R to negation of Q. R to negation of R we cannot draw. Similarly, P to P, P to negation of Q and P to negation of R. Then Q to P and Q to negation of R and then R to P and R to negation of Q. This is how the drawing of the graph is completed. Now, let us take a click. 
we got a click with P negation of Q and negation of R. Let us try to verify that P negation of Q and negation R is satisfying in preset or not. So we'll take P equal to 1, negation of Q equal to 0 and negation of R equal to 0. So if we want to substitute in, in this PCNF, we'll get 1. It means with this value, this 3 CNF is satisfiable. Reversely also we have to show because it is a if and only if condition. So we have to choose one PQR such that this 3 side problem is satisfiable. So let us take P equal to 1, Q equal to 1 and negation of R equal to 0. So if we will substitute in this particular formula, we will get this is satisfiable. Now let us try to find a click with P, Q and negation R. Is it available? Yes. P, Q and negation of R, there is a click available. If a click is given, I can verify the three set. And if a three set is given, I can find a click. And there can be many clicks I can find that can be verified easily. So here you can see in a three set problem, three clauses are given. And the maximum size of the complete graph having three vertices. So the click size is also 3. So if a 3 CNF is given, it is reduced to a click and the 3 CNF having 3 clauses and maximum click size is also 3. And we know that the 3 CNF is a NP complete problem. So we can say that click problem is also a NP complete problem. So the process that we adopted is we took a 3 CNF problem with key clauses it took order of n time to form a graph. We found the maximum click and to verify it took big O of one time. So this is how we have proved that click problem is NP complete. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Keep watching, keep learning. If you like it, give thumbs up, share and comment. And we'll meet in one more video. Till then, take care. Bye.